Hey Gemini, this is EJ from Toronto Tarot. I hope everybody is having a good weekend. I hope you're having a good start to your new year and your new month of February. This is going to be a general read for Gemini for February 2019. And let me do this one more time. I've been kind of sitting here shuffling uh, since I finished up my last video. So let me cut the card. So this is going to be a four card read um, with one for overall energy and three for guidance. And a reminder that I read my card straight up. I don't do reversals. one more time ah oh, what's going on Gemini oh y'all are hiding alright let's see what we got going on Gemini so your first card the ten of swords second card is the five of swords definitely a lot of air energy here third card is the two of coins fourth card is the magician card Gemini and from underneath the deck your overall energy. Oh, she popped up again. Princess of Cups. So let's see what we got going on, Gemini. So it looks like, uh, Gemini, and this is not going to resonate with everybody, and I don't know. Where's the love, y'all? Good grief. Well, it looks like, Gemini, y'all are just really trying to put some closure on some issues that you kind of brought forward forward from the end of last year and some things that were definitely in your face last month um with the ten of swords it's about being overwhelmed and just numb to the whole situation so this may be about bills it might be personal situations you got a lot of people coming at you with a lot of stuff it might be work um just be mindful that even though you have um uh, and this is this is definitely uh, air sign energy with the swords um, just be mindful that you don't have to be overwhelmed um, and if you're feeling like that especially this week you know take a minute and try to regroup as we get into the second full week of February um, it looks like you were trying to deal with some issues in the same way and in this deck this deals with attacking issues and trying to deal with things in the same way you have been and getting the same result and you're not satisfied with that um and i can get with that gemini if you've been doing something the same way especially as it relates to some of this energy right here um if you've had a lot of issues hitting you all at once and you're still trying to deal with things the way you used to it might be time to um look at how you're doing things and <clears throat> putting some space in between you and what you're doing with the overall energy being the princess of cups in this reading it is definitely about putting some emotional distance between you and whatever issues you're working on so that you can make clear decisions and not emotional decisions as you get into the third week you are definitely dealing with decision making um and this is you kind of being wishy-washy Gemini and I don't know whatever decisions that you have on your plate and it may very well stem back to this first week With all this stuff on your plate when you get to the middle of the middle towards the end of the month um, Try not to have that wishy-washy energy and again you see those emotions all that water up there and that little balance Try to keep some emotional distance that should be your your overarching theme for the month just that keeping emotional distance and, and making sure that you're looking at situations as objectively as possible the fourth week you got the resources baby you got it you just need to sit down and, and you definitely come back to this what's going on here take a minute and if you need to write down something or talk to somebody to get some clarity on something, there's nothing wrong with that. And the universe is definitely telling you, you got the resources. You can, you can, you know how to do some of this stuff. I think it's just that you're overwhelmed because there's so much coming at you, um, Gemini, that you just don't know what to do. So it's probably best if earlier in the month, if you can get a chance to take a break and um reevaluate some of what's going on that might go a bit other ways in helping you make a good decision 
Let's see what the universe has for you in terms of guidance for the month of February, Gemini. Let's see. First card is the Moon card. Second card is the King of Cups. And the third card is the Emperor. And whenever, uh, I'm, I'm beginning to notice now that whenever I see the King of Cups and the Emperor kind of showing up together, it's usually a good ind indication of not dwelling on. And in this deck, this is um, about being comfort comforting and supportive, that kind of energy. But I'm picking up the sense that you kind of just are retracting and the universe is telling you, hey, don't, don't do this, but figure out where your boundaries are and figure out where everybody else's boundaries are in your life so that you don't stress out. So you're not here all the time with just all this extra, all this extra stuff and energy coming at you uh, and you just feeling overwhelmed. With the moon card, uh, and you've got one, two, three major arcana. So at the end of the month with the, with the magician, definitely a go. You definitely have the resources. The moon card is telling you to be careful and watch out about deception. This could be love related or professionally related, work related. Um, be careful uh, of you having on rose colored glasses, Gemini, and also people trying to hand you the rose colored glasses because they don't want you to see the real deal. Be careful with illusions, um, deceit, and distortion. Just keep your eyes open. Um, and again, you don't want to get in your cups and just sit there and mope about whatever. But you want to make sure you got some good boundaries going forward so you don't have this overwhelming feeling at the beginning of every month this year. I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. I hope you guys have a good week, and I will see you soon. Bye, y'all.